Welcome back to More Endora Gaming, where we beat the games, and we're here playing more of The Quarry for the Xbox Series X. Uh, we're in like chapter three or four, a few hours into this game. Uh, we're having a good time. There's some cool characters. We've really been like getting into it, getting to learn what's going on. If you're watching this video on YouTube, follow us on Twitch so you can watch our gameplay live when we're playing games. If you're watching this on Twitch, follow us. Irish Bree, what's up? If you're watching this on YouTube, or I'm sorry, if you're watching this on Twitch, follow us on YouTube where we record all of our uh, gameplay and we upload it. We're going to do, after this game, we're going to do Diablo 4. We're going to finish. I think we're like at the end of that game. So we're going to finish that. We're going to play 70s Girl. How are you? We're going to do, um, what's it called? Overcooked All You Can Eat. And then I forgot I pre-ordered this game called Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince. I pre-ordered it like months ago and I'm apparently getting it in the mail on Friday. So we're probably going to be playing that soon too. I wasn't even planning on playing that game this year, but we probably will be. Okay, okay. Do we remember what we were doing here? So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I think her name is think that Emma. Just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything. Excellent! Really I had an amazing evening. How are you? Oh, it's good to hear. I'm pretty good. I'm still a little sick. I've got a little bit of a scratchy sad. voice, but go otherwise pretty good. And love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why does it have to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> so she's talking about Jacob, Bella. who's kind of like a metaphor in the narrative. I think he's kind of a bad guy, really. A fork in the road. Like he's funny, How but like it? he's causing a lot of problems Here's and he's being like a question. dick. He sabotaged Why everybody and got them trapped here the in this camp. Literally. And forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life i guess since this isn't live the choice is up to me battery's getting low battery's getting low let's see is her name emma i think it is it is emma all right let's see all right go up here okay moving up in the world let's do this so a lot of the voice acting in this game I find to be pretty good. This walkway is radiating. And like the facial expressions and stuff of the characters are pretty good. Your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. 70s girl says, yeah, you sound it. I hope you feel better soon. Have you taken anything to soothe your throat at all tonight? Um, yeah, I got these, um... These like cold and flu things with the acid to blah, 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 blah in it. And I took two of those and then I took some more. Um, I had another uh, tea with honey, but my throat, I would say, sounds as bad or worse than it sounded yesterday than the day before. So I don't appear to be getting any better. I am off from work for a few days, so that's nice. But I do have uh, some training I have to do on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I have... I have... To go to a funeral. Yeah. I think you sound a little better. I don't feel like I sound better. got here and this is the meeting shelter it's a shelter where you meet at okay i'm trying really hard to make this interesting but sometimes a thing just is what it is no we make this interesting the hag of hackett's quarry we'll make this real interesting or a werewolf if those are in this game, I'm not really certain. 
Can't see shit. I, mean, I guess this game was designed like that. We're not supposed to be able to like, really see. You also move really slowly in this game. In Devil and Me, I felt like the movement and the platforming sections were the best out of any of these super massive games. Is that you, Jacob? But in this game, it does not feel like it's a strong part of the game. We got another tower card. It's just like all the characters move so damn slow. <coughs> all right, where do we go? I think I'm gonna see what's going on up here. Okay. Seventeen's a girl. Maybe. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Uh, if you look in the top left of the of the stream, I do have a gummy count. I'm currently at zero. Between this game and the last game, I just think you like to watch the characters walk around in their underwear. I mean, pretty much, especially if it's Mike. I'm not gay or anything, but Mike's a hunk. So, did I mention that Mike is the best? Dude, he was running around in a wife beater, battling Wendigos. This is actually kind of fun. I feel in a like this snowstorm. I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. While banging every chick in the game. Kind of you can't beat that. Jacob thing. I know the plan was it's like the Legend of Sam Anders. But now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. Cool, right? Quite a few. Yeah, we're cool. Um, let's go aggressive. Fuck Jacob. Actually, no, we're not cool. You left me here on this freaky ass island. I'm so gonna make you pay for this. In fact, let's do this. Idea time. What'll it be? Tie his shoelaces together? No, too slapstick. I'm not even sure Jacob knows how to tie his shoelaces, to be totally honest. Yeah, everybody shits on Jacob. Up oh, coming time. Drink? I think that's a felony. Oh man, I need some inspiration. I'd say throw your ideas down in the comments, but we'll all be long gone by the time this uploads. Maybe I should do a series of pranks though. No. No. Those those videos always seem so staged. God, whatever happened to good old fashioned authenticity? Oh. First one was a hot one. Hey. Damn. Ooh. <clears throat> Yikes. So my coworker Joe actually started working on a Dungeons and Dragons character for uh, my campaign. I guess I got to do this one-handed, huh? And he named his character Sam Anders, and basically he was trying to like create him with Mike from Until Dawn in mind. Oh shit! Gummies might be hurting my throat. Yeah, maybe, probably not. It probably doesn't matter. Thought you should know. I am nailing this ladder climbing. <sighs> All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse. Obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. <laughs> well, now. It's kind of funny. Fine, how do you do? Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. She's going to kill her battery so fast. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. 
I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? That doesn't sound good. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. <clears throat> do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Uh, let's search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Yes, because they're spicy, so in essence, they're actually burning your throat. So hopefully you had something good to coat your throat with earlier. But anyway, I had the honey. When is Joe going to start playing D&D &D with you? Next time we play, as long as he's able to, he's going to come. Because his character's done. It's finished. Hmm. Fun. But he's probably only going to play like once or twice. Okay. I told him his so character will probably die in the dungeon we're going to do. It's and very likely. It it's going to be a hard dungeon. Gonna make me jump. I can promise you that much. Never having played before and going right into like a difficult dungeon with like high level enemies. Goodbye, cruel world. Yeah, the probably gonna die. Calling and there's no time <clears throat> for an encore. Oh fuck! Oh I thought I didn't. I thought I chose to do the 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 belongings, not the uh, trap door. It looks like a werewolf. I think it's a werewolf. That thing looks scary. I think it looks awesome. Epion, what's up? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Damn right. That thing's fast. Uh, let's spray it again. No, it doesn't like that shit. That beer spray is good against it. That thing looks pretty pretty creepy. Oh, he's just a trap door. <laughs> Yo, this thing's coming at her hard. Can I brighten the screen a little bit? It's kind of hard to see. Doesn't look like I can. No. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Out to the main menu. Let's do that. Got <coughs> me two. I, mean, I was like really struggling to see what was happening. Bizarre yet bona fide. Movie mode. Wolf pack. Oh, cool. There we go. Yeah, we turn that up a lot. That should be better. We should ho hopefully we'll be able to see now. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? 
No, no, sorry. I'm just, I'm really hungry. Uh oh. Eat some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. He's hungry for people. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck! I hate granola. <laughs> yeah, no interest. No interest in granola. He wants some meat. No taro. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. Yeah, Nick's definitely turning into one of those things. Gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Hmm. Do you think that whatever attacked them? I like that. Is, I don't know. Has their scent or something. What? I don't know. Like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> I don't know. Let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. That's creepy. Where are you going? Dylan. I, I, I thought I just... Come to the sex dungeon, in. Dylan. I didn't hear anything. David Arquette's down there. Bring Ryan. And that's where they're going. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Yeah, but Nick's a hungry boy. Helpful about it. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? Oh, I'm coming three. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H. The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then ninety one one. You mean nine one one? Who says ninety one one? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police, ambulance? Huh. Yes, everything. Um. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Well, that sounds crazy. Let's not say that. Yeah, yeah, that's Because that good. sounds crazy. Okay. Let's say something smarter. <clears throat> What's wrong? Dead. Yeah, that was weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? Let's sound less like plot heads on a bad trip. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think. <laughs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. They should call and no say, we, and we're in desperate in need of volunteer EMS to come and treat. Well, not a landline. To come down what? and treat the Nick. Radio hut has and they could stand holding their clipboard and they could look at him and not where, do anything. Where you do your announcements? 
where I think that's I, I think that's the that's the key. Jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right. Yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Calm. Only temporary. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay. Just careful with it. I'll be fine. Oh, got me four. Okay. Uh, well, that's bad. It's, it's probably the weather. What weather? Nick Ryan? is probably eating uh, that chick right now. Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Shoot it. Smart bear. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Yo, these guys are actually kind of... Like, I didn't like Dylan at first, but he's kind of prepared. Yo, look at this. He's like a fucking warrior. Look at, look, yo. Probably leave that fucking clearing the room. Look at this dude. He's manly, manlier than Nick, who just got like fucking wrecked by that monster in 0.2 seconds. Do you think she really needs it, though? But Caitlin, uh, Caitlin is good with the gun. Just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going. See, and Dara, you missed one of my messages. Which one did I miss? Said there might be something dangerous. No, I didn't. When? Oh, the like video looks glitchy? Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give mm, her the gun, man. Looks pretty clear to me on my on my software. Nah, he's keeping the gun. Fuck that. No. Fuck that. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's a... If those hunter guys yeah, no, you know, it looks pretty clear, 70s girl, you're on my, my software. Really okay, right? I, I've got so a feed. So I've got no, a feed I'm up on this side. Safe. I can't believe you're right, being such an good. asshole right now. I can see like exactly what you guys see. Look, and then I got my uh, do, okay. my uh, chat uh, sorry, monitor over here. Not gonna happen. And what I got my TV you, monitor up what here. What are you even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Nah, we're keeping this gun. Fuck that. Are you finished berating me? I could go on, but please take your turn. Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis. I was reason to clear for her too. I finally feel <clears throat> like I have one piece of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. Are they gonna break up? I'll just deal with it because no way in hell am I logging off. You better not. Ryan doesn't like the side of you. Something? Yeah, I think Ryan and Dylan are, are going to break up. And they're not going to have any more sex dungeon trips. <clears throat> Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Was um, Emma still fighting that werewolf thing? Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Don't mention it. That's good to hear, 70s girl. <sighs> Alright, back to Emma. Let's see what's going on with this werewolf. What's she doing? Well, that don't look safe. She's surprisingly calm, considering a werewolf is trying to eat her right now. Oh, we gotta go fast. You gotta do it fast. We don't got time. We don't got time to fuck around here. Yeah, you ain't got time to fuck around. Oh shit! Yeah, that was the wrong decision. Uh, real. I think it doesn't look like a werewolf, really.
What's up with that music? It's loud and doesn't really fit. Got me number five. Oh, there goes her phone. Surprising, knowing one's own raw power, tapping into a, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Pretty creepy. The magician. The incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational, perceptive manipulation, the work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Sure, I guess. You know, they, they really could have um, they really could have done without this part of the game, like having this this girl, this uh lady. Like they they don't need this intermission part. It's not very interesting or creepy or cool. It's just like kind of boring. I guess that's what we're doing. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Chapter 5, White Noise. Uh, I'm curious to see what's going on with Nick. I bet you he's getting hungry. The hungry boy. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Dara, my cat says hi. He's watching as usual. Tell your cat that I say hi back. Um, let's do. I mean, I don't think either of these really matter, right? How are you holding up? I'm. Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. What do you think, guys? Is he gonna turn into I'm a werewolf messing. or whatever and try to eat her? I think so. It's okay. Listen that music. It's like boom, 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 boom. Um, Caitlin showed up. Probably not now. Boom, 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 boom. All right, maybe. They're off to find a radio or something. Boom, boom, What's boom, with the boom. Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office. So, just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? The bears did it, obviously. Okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're going to try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Um, let's not say anything. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Um, yeah, let's not do that. We don't know what's out there. Could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. 
No, she's strong. She's empowered. She don't need no man. She's an independent, strong woman. She got this. Expert marksman. Probably knows martial arts. She's gonna fuck this monster up. She ain't gonna run. But that gun does not look like it'd be especially useful in like a close combat situation. No woman needs a man. I don't know, uh, 70s girl. Picture this, right? Let, let me set the stage for you in this scenario. You're in a cabin, a campsite, in the middle of nowhere. There's werewolves running around. There's no supplies. There's no power. You don't think in that niche, very specific scenario that you need a man to help protect you? I think that's foolish. You mean in life? I mean, that, that'd be in life. Protecting you from werewolves, that's what men are for. That's what we do. Save you from the werewolf threat. Same thing if there are windigos. What if there's windigos? Same thing. You need a mic to step up and keep you safe. And he'll bang all your friends. But listen, that's part of that's part of life. That's it. As long as there's no coyotes, it's fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure that werewolves and wendigos are more dangerous than coyotes. There's the John Cena dude. Oh, I fucked that up, huh? Why is he running at her? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I fucked that up. I got her gun taken away. I fucked that up. You'd be fine against Wendigos and werewolves? I don't think so. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? I'm hungry as hell. Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know, is that he's like I'm w I'm wondering, each other, you know, can I eat you? Oh, I'm sorry. Nick, and she's what, like, what are you saying? Um, I guess insecure. Why do you doubt me? I mean, because even Mike struggled against the Wendigos. I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? Your wife is fine with Smith, Smith and Wesson. It's not a good time. That's fine, but um, I thought things would go further. Maybe I was but, the situation. But I don't think it would hurt to have a man around to keep you safe from the Wendigos. Like you saw how much havoc they wrecked. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Even if Yon's wife would be fine. Hey. Well, sorry. You say that now. I just mean. But when werewolves are dropping, are falling out of the drop ceiling, just, trying to eat you, didn't know you know, you did too. It's all fun and games until that happens. That seems like <clears throat> such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um, Even Mike died against the Wendigos. Mike, Mike yeah, died. I, I Think guess. about that. <laughs> just saying that because I'm hurt. Uh huh. Nick. What is going on out there, Caitlin? It's getting chased by John Cena. We've died. That's okay. Mike this. was a wuss? Well, how was Mike a wuss? How dare you? Take that back. He was running around in a wife beater in a snowstorm fighting Wendigos. How dare you? Oh my god. What Thank you. Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Now, you mean hide? You can't hide from this dude? I, mean, I guess Nick is fine now. I got you, girly. Oh shit. His werewolf power. He's using his werewolf power. Uh, he's like, wait, how the fuck did I do that? That, that, that dude's huge. 
I just, I just like lifted him up like he was nothing. Yo, Nick's gonna become a problem quick. John Cena. I could run around in a snowstorm fighting them too. Not in a wife beater, you couldn't. Nope. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD. Why not in a wife, Peter? Because that's a mic move, and you're not Mike. Nowadays, everything Mike's also phone, banging every single girl at the camp. Are you going to do that, too, Somebody's girl? We're not. I missed a message. Oh, got me six. Giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like. Uh, there you go. So you can't be Mike. Music. And he doesn't bang like oh, one or two um, girls. He bangs yeah, every girl. Like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Typical man? Really seem like a no. Not true. Guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, well, there's a werewolf. Wife not blondie. I think they did um they did some kind of poll. I think they found that something like it's some number like thirty eight percent of men. Are not sexually active at all in the last like couple like last couple of years are not, aren't sexually active at all so to say that it's a typical man thing to bang every single girl that that breathes that's around him that's not a man thing that is specifically a mike thing i'm, I'm sorry i'm so even nick by nick this. says that he's like a, a playboy here. stud not yeah in this here, game what I has he done He's been going after, and arguably, here, the least good-looking girl in the group. Wise, wise and she's been kind of, like, friend-zoning him. And he's, like, going on, like, walk, uh, romantic walks harsh. with her. No? Telling her about okay, his feelings. So and he's getting nowhere. I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation. And I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You Dylan's closer to scoring with Ryan yeah, I mean, than I'm Nick was close to scoring with, I don't know that girl's name. Blase. And do, do you enjoy the blasé, Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Was that were they flirting? What was that? I don't know what the, I don't know how to describe that. Whatever it was, it was awkward and uncomfortable. Nope, I thought I'd be able to go in there. Guess not. Okay. We'll go this way then. Up, <clears throat> oh, got me seven. Let's do this thing. Last couple weren't bad. The first couple were like really bad. Says my mouth's numb. That's funny. Maybe. I just missed something. Something happened. That my that one hit my throat kinda. Oh. Okay. 
I wish I could, like, at least lightly jog. And not have to move at, like, a half mile an hour. <clears throat> All good? Yeah, I think we're good. All good? There might be a tarot card somewhere, but I don't really care. Radio Hut. Oh, yeah. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. Wow, so Dylan really knows how this shit works. Anything so he sh we should be good here. Continues? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to you know, portable radios and whatever. So, Not that I think far. the range is about a mile. Well, I don't think that's gonna help. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you're right. This is more <laughs> like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician. In a manner of speaking, sure. Okay. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, you can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Huh. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Dylan, and not it, man. And been a horrible accident attack. Some stuff's bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us. Swarm uh, of bears? Good, and a few of our friends are hurt. And um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship. I agree, come 70s on, girl, yeah, that sounds, that just sounded ridiculous. No one's gonna, no one's gonna good? respond to that, that's just ridiculous. Swarm of bears? Yeah. Swarm of bears. Herd of bears. <clears throat> yeah, a herd? Of bears. There are herds either. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right, I, I guess I should just, like, switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Stone's on a bad trip. Yeah, both these guys are high as fuck. Oh, there's a, the there's a werewolf. What's it looking at? Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Oh shit, they're talking about them. Talking about them. Coming number eight, let's do it. Huh, they might not need they might not mean us. Come on. 
two males in the radio shack in the lodge. Obviously, it's them. Ooh, let's do it. That's totally us. <coughs> Holy shit, you're talking about us. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. Well, they have a gun. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Hey, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlyn and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. They're all fighting John Cena right now. And there's a werewolf. Why did you tell me there was something out there? He did see that. I I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I have no idea. It's a bear. It's the hog of Hackett's quarry. And now it's on the roof. Ryan? And it's fucking hungry. Like Nick is. I don't think bears can jump like that. Is there two of them, or is it the same one? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Dylan is being so useless right now. Uh, the, uh, hold the button. Being so useless. Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, in, get into a cabin now. Go. Yeah, but they're with an animal. Oh, they're fuck, with Nick. Dude. This is pretty cool. But you know what this game is though? It's a little bit too light on gameplay. There's, there's just not a lot of game gameplay here. It's a cool like the story and the acting and like everything is pretty cool. But just like I'm not pl I'm not playing a game like most of the time. I'm just holding the controller like this There's just nothing for me to do Until Dawn didn't do this to, uh, to us and even though I didn't like it that much um, Devil and me you, you were doing actually a lot of platforming and puzzle solving and stuff um, Let's kill it. <clears throat> let's try We gotta kill it It's not a normal animal man I don't think a gun's gonna cut it We got it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and mm. crank it to the max. That's not a bad idea. I, mean, I like that idea. Power, but... Dylan, that's a good plan. I dig that. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. That could work. <sighs> okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Come on. It's almost... Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. So, so, there's 
something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh crap. Uh oh. It pulled the wire. It pulled the wire? I'll cover you. Yo, this monster's smart too. It's like is it like as smart as a human? It might be. Oh, number nine. Do it now. Go quickly. That's bad. Oh, it's biting his hand. Hey, what's up, honey? I don't think you're gonna like this. This game's scary. Can you turn it off, please? No. I need to make an ID when I want to. You're not having gum before bed. Why? You're not having gum before bed. I like Uppy. Before bed? Yeah, she had Are you going to bed now? Yeah, but she only had a pee. Nine, but why does it say on the top nine spicy gummies? That's how many spicy gummies I eat while I'm playing. You're, count, you're writing how many spicy gummies you're eating. Mm -hmm. Every time someone asks me to eat one, I eat one. I don't see anything that says eat one. Mm -hmm. Where does it say eat one? Someone said number nine. That means have the ninth gummy. Are you ready? Hold your hand. Wait, I got more. I'm dad of the year because I'm giving my daughter big league chew before bed. So I'm pretty much the best dad ever because um, that's good parenting. You just spill that on the floor. Ah, what are you doing? You got to pick those up, baby. You dropped a bunch on the floor. Look. Uh, Epion's wife says she's adorable. You are adorable, sweetie. You got it on your mat. You got it on your face. You know, throw it in the garbage, honey. You don't put that in your mouth. Don't put those pieces on your mouth. Throw it in the garbage. Love you, babe. Night. Gummy number 10. If I show you, if I show you this game before bed, you are not gonna be able to go to sleep. No, no, just. Ah! I didn't put it on. No, don't put it on. Now ten spicy gummies. Ten spicy gummies. Ten spicy gummies. Wait, ten spicy gummies. Why did you put nine, ten? One. What ah! is this wallet? I already spread you out. The gum? Are you done with it already? Mm, I love you. Close the door, babe. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Ebion says, wife, trust your dad. Don't show her this part. The queen of Naboo, what's up? Uh, yeah, she's gone. I'm not going to let my uh, eight-year-old daughter see this uh, amputation. <laughs> All right, Ready? Let's use a cha uh, chainsaw, I guess. Are you sure? If we don't do this, I think it will make him into a monster and, and eventually kill him. So I think it is kind of important. But I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know why the characters know that. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't let her see this. Wire. 
get the wire, get the wire. What? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta tie that off or, or, or cauterize it or something. Plug it, plug it into the thing. 70s girl, you're, you're uh, in the medical field. What should he do here? It's just a scratch. Okay. He's, I mean, he's not acting like a bitch about it. He's like, he seems fine. Uh, Isaac losing consciousness. Oh, that worked. That worked. It ran away. Path chosen. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. You got Dylan's blood all over your face. Yo, he's in a good mood for just having getting attacked by a monster and his arm chopped off. You better do something before he pat dies from losing blood. Oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Um, the greatest weakness of the hag of Hack Hackett's quarry is AOL dial-up. That is its weakness. Is it safe? It hears that noise and it just dips. He's got blood all over his face. He's like, everything's fine, Caitlin. Come hang out with us. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Dylan's your favorite? I didn't like Dylan at first. I actually, I, I, I strongly disliked him at the, at the beginning of the game. I think so. But he's actually like... He's climbing, steadily climbing on my list. And same thing with actually uh, Caitlyn. She was, she was at the, she was at the bottom on? of my list, and now she's slowly oh climbing God. up. Tell him what happened. Nick is just always oh, constantly God. dropping. Emma okay, I, I, has always I, I, been I, I, low. I'm not. I'm uh, I forget the girl's name, but when the draws, she's she's hurt. been she's low now. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it, Oh, gunshot. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who the hell? Who is that girl? <clears throat> who was she? Should we follow her? I like the truth or dare scene. I thought that was pretty cool. Ah, oh, shit, Dylan. What is that? <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> it's possible that when you kill one of those things, may they turn back to human. So maybe that's one of those things and it just got killed. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Up, oh, gummy eleven. That's one less vermin in the world. That was a short chapter. Let's take a look once more. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Eh, kind of lame. Hey. Oh, we haven't seen Jacob in a while. What's this dude? Uh, he still doesn't have clothes on? Bro. Emma! Where's that ghost thing? We haven't seen that in a while. Man. God, this thing sucks ass. 
I think 70 saw your hat and has for the past few days believed you to have given into the margin. Am I, I have you? given into the margin. I've given into Bobbity and I'm now one of his slaves. I wish I could show you how comfy my cat is sitting watching this. I don't buy it. I don't see why a cat would like this. Our cat's afraid of dogs and this game's all werewolves. What's the margin? Um, when the wizard Bobbity takes control of your mind, you get an M on your forehead and like a big power boost. This from Dragon Ball Z. As is my hat. Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. I used to love Dragon Ball Z so much. Like, so, so much. But, I'll be honest, I haven't even really watched any of Super. Because, like... I just don't have interest in it like I did, you know? Like, when I was younger, I loved it, but, like, nothing really new came out for, like, so many years that I just, I, you know, I just kind of not into it anymore. I'm sure I'll watch it eventually, but... <clears throat> my, but Super came out... It came out quite a few years ago, well, and I still haven't... I really haven't watched it, like, at all. Fucking hell. Well, and the animation looks pretty lame that I've seen. What we got here? Memory card, okay. Memory card from a broken and dirty camera lost in the woods. That might be useful. It has good points, but yeah. I mean, I've seen, I've seen some fights from some of the movies. Like, Broly versus, like, Vegeta and stuff looked cool. But, like, in the actual... And I watch uh, Revival of F and Battle of Gods. But, like, the actual show, I watch, and, like, the animation looks terrible. Last two movies are great. I saw in theaters, actually. I saw the movie with Gohan. What's it called? Um, I think it's called, like, Dragon Ball Z Superhero or something like that. I saw that in the theater w with a couple of my friends. And uh, I liked the beginning. But then the... the um, I forget what they called that version of Cell. Was it like Mega Cell or something like that? Ultra Cell, whatever they called it. I didn't like. I didn't like the the villain, the Cell villain. Uh, the show has some really bad, but the final fight in the show. I thought the show was still going on. Oh, it's Cell Max. That's the name of him. It's Cell Max. Yeah, I thought he was like a really lame final villain. But I liked the, I liked the movie up until like the the climax. I liked it. Might be the best three minutes of all DB. The final fight in the show. What's the final? What is the final fight? The show stopped before the Broly movie. Oh, so it's oh really? I thought the show was still going on. Hmm. So I guess it's been done for a while. <laughs> that was that was pretty cute. Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Okay. Oh my god, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. You left me back there, you asshole. Oh, god, Emma, come on. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah. Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? Um. When? New shows what? a spinoff coming that has nothing to do with the manga. He has not like Goku's a kid again, like Dragon Ball GT. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that she's still alive. I've never seen this part be before. Oh, I guess she. Just, I guess she could have died. The final fight is three versus one. Keep on punching, naked dude. <laughs> Gummy twelve. Let's do it. Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. You know? oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. It's a werewolf. You're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. We've Love gummies. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to. Be we'll be end on yesterday, like 40, 43 or forty-four, I think. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good <clears throat> by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. He oh did. My God, what? He did. Oh, well, here comes a werewolf. So there must be a bunch of them out there. There's gonna be like a bunch. John Cena for the win. Oh God. That thing looks cool. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. How does covering yourself in blood help against this thing? Um, let's dip. kind of trap or something for the monsters yeah it is those are traps for the monsters yep the traps oh no I thought he saw it looked like he saw them I guess he didn't oh, he's fucked you gotta pry open you don't pull free I think Jacob's he's fucked now. A trap laid by the hag of Hackett's quarry. Sammy's girl wants him to cut it off. I don't think he needs to. Who the fuck is this old guy? We need another scratch. <laughs> I don't think the I don't think these random people are bad guys. I think they're trying to like stop the uh I think I think that is one of the werewolves, and it died and turned human. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. No. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Guess not. Up, oh, coming 13. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Oh God. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Nick, what do you? I taste you. Hey. He's gonna bite her. Oh, Nick, what the hell? He's gonna bite her. Uh, get off. Oh, to watch out. I said get off. What? Why does it hurt him? Are you okay? I just wanted him to stop. Nick, dude. What's going on? Uh, yeah, we're not we're not helping him. Hey, hey, it's okay. You're okay. I got you. I got you. Why was he screaming like that in the water? What did I do? <clears throat> Oh. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. 
Yo, this is freaky. I like this. This is cool. Try to rest. No, you can't sit with this dude like this. I'm sorry. He's gonna try to eat her, bro. Ah. Quit moving so much. <clears throat> it's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. Better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Should that really be a priority for these people? You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Hey, he wants a person to eat. I actually get to do something. It's been a while. Here, that better? Thanks. Hey. I wonder where Caleb is. Who's Caleb? <clears throat> this place is so different. Pookie drawing. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, uh, 14 seems like good right about now. Too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. May they're were cats, not werewolves. Abby. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Oh God. Of course. Don't get closer. Do you like me? N Nick. Please just tell me. Don't get closer, bro. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such, oh, such, such, what? Such a cop out answer. <sighs> Abby. Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. N no, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? 
Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. I shouldn't have had a pick on What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. What? This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay? Holy shit. Did he scratch her? I don't know. that gun back up. That's bad. I oh, left. Kitty time. So he's a weird, he's, they're like weird cats, not werewolves. They're weird cats. Interesting. Interesting. That was pretty freaky. That was actually an awesome scene. That was the best scene of the game so far. That was that was excellent. My reaction was brilliant. <laughs> oh, thanks. Up oh, number fifteen. Want to know what happens when you miss the shot? Yeah, sure. Does he, does he kill her? What happens? Okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters... He rips her head off? I would... I haven't lost any characters yet. Except for the first two. The lodge. I think that happens no matter what. And I guess technically I lost Nick, but there was never I don't think there's ever a chance to even try to save him. <laughs> Fun. Only one Cause there wasn't any any quick time event or anything like that when uh, Nick got bit. Stories again. Exactly. Fun. The kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. I mean, at least the kids weren't all getting murdered by weird cats. <clears throat> Rose must have had a change of heart and decided not to send his letter home. Ghost stories only stories after all. Hi, Mom. Camp is so fun. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> I wish I had another cup of tea right about now. My throat's definitely uh, not feeling great. But I do kind of plan on playing this pretty late, so... Can I climb this? No. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Uh oh. Here comes the weird kitty. Gotta get out of here. Do 
You just have order with you? I do. Yo, I already, I already used like over half of that bottle of honey. I've been like pounding that down. But I don't know if it's really been helping. No water, only death. <laughs> F yawn, something else. I mean, 70s girl, you see that he ap he openly roots against me. When I gave him the power of the gummies yesterday, he's like, gummy, 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 gummy. I think go this way, right? There's another path, too. Um, I don't like this. Let's go the other way. Let's go this way. With the amount of gummies you've been having, I can see why your honey isn't working. Well, again, I had like 40-something gummies yesterday. And we're already at what? 15 today? The day before, I forget. We weren't keeping count, really, the day before. Strange, I wasn't the one who gave you five at a time. Yes, yeah, 70s girl was brutal with that. <clears throat> she wouldn't give me one for like 20 minutes, and then she'd give me five in a clip. Brutal. Rope? Okay. Is your tummy killing you? Uh, yesterday and the day before. By the time I got to the end of my streams, I was in pain. Right now, no. I'm fine right now. Like yesterday, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Iron stomach till it dies. I do eat a lot of spicy uh, food, so... Time for number 16. Yeah, I have a lot of spicy stuff, so, like... I have decent tolerance, but I'm definitely not invincible. Oh man, Ebion says he'll drink hot sauce. This dude's a savage. Hey, uh, Queen of Naboo, I have a question for you. Have you ever played the game Until Dawn? Up, oh, something's happening. This place is a lot. Goddamn spice gummies fuck me up for some reason. I've had some. I've had some spicy ones that were like. We're like nothing, but these are pretty hot. Irish Bree says my husband has such a high tolerance he can drink hot sauce out of the bottle with a straw. Damn. Uh, nope, I haven't seen any of it either. Ah, uh, never mind. I was gonna ask you some questions about one of my favorite characters in a video game ever, the character Mike from that game. But if you haven't played it, <clears throat> Mike is also seventies girl, seventy girls uh, favorite character also. Better than this one, as far as I'm concerned. I've read that some people like this better. So far, I'm going to say no. Especially, again, my big negative here. What? Stop playing this. What do you mean? Go jerk off to Mike. <laughs> so my big issue with this game, actually, is the, is the gameplay. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Like, for almost the whole entire game, I'm just watching, like a movie. When I do get to do stuff, it's this. That. It's walking. And then occasional quick time events, but it's like, I'm barely playing. I felt like in, until dawn, I played a lot. Devil and me, you play it. You actually do a ton of platforming and stuff in Devil and Me. Um, Sammy's girl said this, uh, his, her all time favorite character is Mike. That's because Mike's the best. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. Oh, cool. They caught one. It's awesome. Right. No, don't run. Don't run. Gummy 17. 
damn these fucking kids. Son, what? Uh, 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 hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh. Oh. Queen Naboo says she needs to check it out. She does. Awesome game. John Cena doesn't even sound like John Cena in this game. Lance handling is the shit. Caitlin? I don't know who that is. Ryan! Abby! Bro, why are you screaming? There's weird cats running around. You can't scream like that. This doesn't feel safe. Yo, she's crazy. Should not be doing this. Lance Henry. Oh yeah, Ryan? you said it. You said it yesterday. The old dude. He plays. What character did you say he plays? Ah, I forget. Like who the actor is. You had said what movie he's in and stuff. I thought he was. I thought the other dude was John Cena. He's in the credits. No, I think I think he I think John Cena is in the credits. Bishop and Aliens, that's right. That's right. That movie's old. That movie's like as old as me. Then again. No, she didn't. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. That's a good point. <clears throat> Do what you had to do, girl. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! I think Nick's home. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Oh. Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Oh, Don't let me in. that's the girl. That's the girl that got oh, from yeah, the beginning of the a game. Crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit! You, Laura Kearney. You're Laura Kearney. Yes. Eighteen. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up. Uh, you and the guy. What's his name? Max. Yes. Max, Max. is dead yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or he's or he's a You had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Hmm. Oh, my door. Okay. I'm going to open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up. Okay. Okay. That's the same girl? Why she look like a badass? She looks like fucking Snake Plissken. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Yo, I'm kinda tired. Did you look hard enough? I'm kinda tired. 
of this old lady nagging me about these tarot cards. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't care about your tarot cards. Stop nagging me. Don't care. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. Wife says the summer has been hard on Laura. Yeah, <laughs> she's had a rough summer. She's she she looks like fucking big boss right now. And again, <laughs> so, uh, is she the hag of Hackett's quarry? Come. Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. It does kind of look like her. Mistake. Then ain't this ain't Peter Stormare, therapist extraordinaire. That's a dude. That's a dude from Until Dawn. I like that guy. He was pretty good. Let's see what happened with Laura. Let's see this. Curious. They knocked her out. And what they do to her? How'd she lose her eye? I'm sure they're gonna show us. Now she's going on missions for the Patriots instead of being a camp counselor. She's part she's part of the the Lale Lule Lo. The Lale Lule Lo. She didn't go. Uh no, we're not gonna call out. She didn't go to the goddamn motel. And now she's chilling with Hal Emmerich at uh, Outer Haven. There's that creepy ass cop with the blood all over him. Ma'am. This is gonna get a little messy. It needs legs. The fuck? What does the metal gear? Or can't launch a nuke. You gotta have if you're not bipedal, how can you possibly launch a nuke? You can't. So Epion, are you a Rex kind of guy or a Ray kind of guy? Oh God, what the fuck was that? And you know what? That's why I didn't like about the Shagglehod. The Shagglehod doesn't walk. Oh, Gummy 19. Rex for the win. Fuck yeah. OG. I like it. Have you done to Max? Shut up. <laughs> you can't just shut up. Shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. When I say name, Shaggo roared though. Give me your name. Nah, Shaggo was Shaggo Hot was lame. I, I love that game. The Shaggo Hot was lame. I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned question. Is that Joxer? I don't know what that means. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like. Clearly, she survives this because this is like a flashback. I want a lawyer. Stop. You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comply with them because there's no it's a flashback. Nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm not gonna comply. Yes, that sheriff's badge doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't believe in the law. Typical cop. That's not very nice. Excuse me. He's a brother of Bruce Campbell. Oh, really? Do anything. I'm a big Bruce you Campbell fan. Up. Explain that to me, <clears throat> lady. I don't think you have any idea what kind of shit you just stepped into. I'm not gonna comply because I know nothing there's can happen. Shit, and then there's shit. He ain't doing nothing to me. around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on what the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us you goddamn maniac take me to max Break brother of Ramy 
Sam Raimi. What? I can say that. I used to work as a cop. Oh, you're a former cop? So you used to run around carrying a gun and everything? That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to resist arrest. I think that's not a good idea. <clears throat> Let's go. I, that is frightening, Epion. I agree. It's frightening. Hey. Wait, that's Max. Hey, you, wait, that's... Wait, Max is still alive? What? You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! <laughs> 70s girl. Fuck. Um, what's it? Let's be concerned. Max, <clears throat> are you okay? Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? Oh, she did do that. That's right. I left him. Uh, be apologetic. I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what it was thinking. She did. She left his ass there. She's like, get fucked, bro. I'm I'm saving I guess myself. I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like, well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura. Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? You're a weird cat, bro, obviously. You're a weird, you're a weird cat. Yeah, so our host was very Dummy number 20. getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? He go meow, blood meow, blood. Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. Um. And it gets better. I got a little. No, I, I got, I got like a good, yeah, like fifteen left, something like that. I got a good number left. The plan though is to finish the bag tonight. That's the plan. We might, we might be able to beat this tonight, potentially. What's he giving you? I'm not going to be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey, did I say you could talk to each other? Uh, he is. Fuck this dude. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> Dick Whippet. Yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. The Sheriff of Hackett's Quarry. Up oh, number 21. Come on. You're a weird cat, bro. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on, move. So how come Max isn't super strong like Nick was? Hey, stop struggling. Nick was like Max, fucking throwing people across the room and shit in human form. And Max seems like a pussy little kid. What's the, what's the deal here? Laura, I think. I was 
gotta be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. <laughs> That's funny. Well, there's a bunch of shit in here. Sis. So that said they were wolves. So maybe they are werewolves. I don't know. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. The hag of Hackett's Quarry and the bitch ass sheriff. <clears throat> I feel bad with you talking bad about a sheriff, though, Epion, because 70s girl was a cop. Seventies girl, how many people did you illegally arrest and torture when you were a cop, like the sheriff's doing? <laughs> you didn't arrest anybody illegally? What the hell are you out there doing? Do you even police? Give me a break. But again, Epion, how come Max doesn't have superpower like like Nick does? Doesn't make sense. Sure. Second you get out. I don't I don't it anymore. Uh huh. the fuck is that supposed to mean? <clears throat> hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Don't do it anymore. Hey, you can't just leave You don't us illegally arrest people anymore? Well, that's good. Canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He just. He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Mm. <clears throat> All right, you touch yourself at night, Max. Poor Max. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. Really? You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Were we set up? Uh, see? Maybe it's some kind of crazy <coughs> camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's <laughs> I mean the sheriff of Hackett's quarry. What? It doesn't really make sense her her idea. 
He's not acting like a kidnapper. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? Or cops. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Hmm. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? It's been less than a day. Stop crying. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet. You guys notice the graphics around like her hair? Look, they look all like fucked up and weird and distorted. What? Is that supposed to be like that? What? I'm assuming no. I saw the letter, Max. <clears throat> what are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? Up, oh, 22. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. The game engine doesn't handle out of focus lighting fuck. well. Like that looks like like you almost like a game plans, glitch. Max, what the fuck? I don't know. What I don't do you know. want me to say? Uh maybe something like sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? So is he a weird cat or no? He's gotta be. But he doesn't have super strength. Okay, let's just focus. He's not I'm acting like he wants to eat her. I'm so Great. confused. Sign me up. We need to go over it from <clears> the beginning. <throat> like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the whatever we ran into? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. A dirty cop like that 70s station. girl? I mean, yeah, but there's like... Legally arrest arresting everybody? <clears throat> yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just... <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. Both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. Is that more condom? What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... Before we got lost? You got lost? Uh, well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, 
you know, full moon. Yeah. What, she smell wet fur when they're all skin and if, slimy looking? Uh, I don't remember them. I don't remember them saying okay. that. No. Stop. I'm just saying. They got know, weird patchy hair. Number 23. Chance. It was a werewolf. Werewolves. Werewolf. I've been saying it the whole time I want it to be werewolves. Goddamn mine. What happened? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Hey. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same hmm. thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? This is what I didn't notice. I'm not answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Listen to uh, Snake Plissken. <laughs> Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick, with the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really time hopping Draculas. Dylan, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. The House okay? of this Ashes. Like your ghost stories. How is this so different? It was alien vampires. Those are just sealed away like, there has to be in an underground Sumerian ancient temple. So. Okay, you were not time hopping Draculas so isn't that far off of that. I'd say it's about equal. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, <clears throat> cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? This is where skepticism is you bullshit. A whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care, but I think you should hear all of it. Yeah, I want to learn more about the werewolves. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what yeah. happened to Max. We just kept going on. What's up? Playing game. Look. Over it all again and again. And nothing was making sense. What? Uh, maybe a little bit. That we needed to get out of there. I have the heat on. I'm playing this game. You want to take a look? No. What are you doing now? I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. <sighs> We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. Uh, one second. Been this camp all summer. Been there.
All right. Gruesome family time. Horror family time. Have them join. Oh, have my what? Have my kids join? Yeah, I think. Um, pausing the game at the time that I paused it before was perfect because letting her see that happen would have been really bad. The amputation. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one. Up, oh, coming 24. Time. All right, we, we don't even know <laughs> She's not helpful what's either. really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Let's try to escape. I'm not going to be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not. Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Prison break. <clears throat> right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? <laughs> if we're doing code names. I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell. And then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right. Okay. That's We're gonna really steal the cop though. car. You know. That's what is this? Uh, escape, but with a whole lot more hangover. Fuck, you won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now. We'll catch him in the back foot. Maybe. I'm guessing this is how she's gonna lose her eye. I get those scratches on her face. Pillsbury Showboy. Come on. How does the multiplayer work? Um, so there is like a multiplayer option, but I've, I've never tried to use it in any of these Dark Pictures games. But there is a, there is like a multi- Ow. 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 Careful. Really? Careful. <laughs> that was pathetic. Wow. That was pathetic. Genius. Yeah, there, but there, there is a multiplayer thing. I'm, I'm, but I think you go to the main menu shower. and you pick it, and then maybe you need to. I, I'm not sure. I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off. Get back. Max, what's going on? Not well enough. Get the fuck away from him. Uh, it's probably almost a full moon, so he's, he needs him to strip down so it doesn't ruin his clothes. Come here. What the hell's he doing? Shut up. Have a seat. He's gonna make her watch. He's gonna make her watch. That, well, that's fucked up. Be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go. Do so you keep vods on this channel? You see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time. Then. Um. Jeez. Don't get too close. After seven days, the the replays of the videos disappear. But I do I do record every game I play and upload it all to YouTube mm -hmm. on the same the same channel name, the Dara Gaming name. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station. Help us! Uh huh. Over. Nothing. 
Nothing. My way. Over. That was pretty stupid. But yeah, I, I upload um every every uh, gameplay, every game that here. we play, I upload it onto uh, YouTube. I we usually beat quite a few games. This this year we've beaten over fifty games. Last year we beat ninety four games. So nice because I gotta go three a.m. for me, but I want to see how your playthrough goes. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, Twitch will save this this uh, video will will be saved on Twitch for seven days. So I appreciate that though. I appreciate the support for sure. Oh, cool. Um, clinical. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Well, all right. I don't feel so good. Not good, like how? Well, good. Oh, no, just get some rest, Queen of Naboo. Bad. Sleep good. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Yeah, I Max, think. I need to observe you. I think you better stay back. Close enough for you, bitch. Yeah, he's losing it. He's losing it. He's turning. Oh God. Glad to be here. Enjoy the game. Bye. Yes. I'll see you. Good night, Queen of Naboo. Thanks again. Oh, this is cool. Oh, man. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, he got her eye. I guess a scratch doesn't do it. I guess you have to get bit. Fuck! Yo, that was cool. Meow. Just another scratch. Yo, that was cool. Some of the scenes in this game are done so well. That was done. That was incredible. And then she had the scratch. Eyes gone. Oh, gummy 25. So much for depth perception. Let's go check on mask a uh, max. Oh fuck. This soldier Wait, is now useless. Why take the eye in a training exercise? What's that from? I don't, I don't recognize that quote.
Hello? The fuck is that? Is that the hag of Hackett's Quarry? Much a hint is a slap in the face. My birthday. You gotta find her, find his birthday on, on something. Blind in one eye, scared out of your mind, and really bad with tech. You could be near. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Let's see if we can find his birthday. Missing heist, missing cats, missing dogs. Dan Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. They're dead or they're uh, werewolves. I think it's time for Gummy 26. I don't think there's anything else here for us to do. We gotta find this dude's oh birthday. What are you hiding, Travis? Letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Can I like read it? Doesn't look like it. Is there a way to actually read the letter? Try these stairs. time go 56 that means he was born in 1965 do I need the exact day or is 1965 going to be the code
Might be good to have that. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. I need to lie down. You're running out of time. Oh, hey, you brought me tea. Thank you. Well, I don't want you to throw up. Thank you. Full moon. Birthday beers. The 7th. July 7th, 19, 1965. We got it. July 7th, 1965. Cool. That was actually pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> First puzzle like thing that, th that was in this game. I mean, it's no Silent Hill 3, but July 7th, 1965. That was nice of her. I didn't message her asking for it, but she said she doesn't like the smell of honey and it makes her feel sick and she's still bored. I know what you meant. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Uh. Wait, where's the entrance to... <coughs> where's the entrance to where, like, uh, the cell block is? Why am I, like, lost? I don't, I don't think it's up there. No. Uh, I think it's behind this cage. Oh, but it's not, I'm looking for the computer. July 7th, 1965. I'm looking for the computer. Where's the computer? But she's saying she's getting tired, so I think that means I'm running out of time. Here it is. July 7th, 1965. Oh, I'd have to, rem that's lame. Yeah. I'd have to memorize it. She just automatically did it. That's lame. Oh God, this thing's slow. Media player. Weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports... T. Hackett and his 90s PC. That thing's old, bro. Some hay bales caught fire during Look at this the thing. Night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was... World Wide, world wide Web. ...leading lady and her alleged baby I think she's falling asleep. Whoa. Oh, 27. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Just sleep next to the werewolf. It's fine. I'll say this. The things in the computer, that was not very interesting. Oh 
god. Let's just go in our cell and take a little nappy poo. Good night. Excuse me. Creepy. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. Thank you. Thanks, 70s girl. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. I was gonna take, he's gonna take that uh, syringe from her. She didn't stow it. Oh, I could have, I could have stowed it in the wall. Oh no. I could have hit it in the wall. I didn't think of that. Oh. Oh. So you made yourself at home. I didn't think That's of that. to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes. Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. Damn it. Damn it. I should have put that in the wall. I didn't think of it. Man. Damn it. I'd still have it. I might need that later. Shit. That was stupid. I was just, I like rushed for her to go to bed. I didn't think about that. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor, uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? No. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what? <clears throat> I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. Gummy 28. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Let's end it. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? <clears throat> I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max. And I'm going to get what I need.
Let's see how smart you really are. <coughs> What's that? What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Cool. This is like a real horror movie. No, we're not taking the gun. No. You'll fail anyway. You'll fail. Don't do that. <clears throat> it's a bad position for him to be in, but you know, and she'll fail. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. Werewolf. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. I don't know, bro. It's what we got. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. No, this is cool. It's not as straightforward as you think. Took a while for it to get going, though. Why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I was, when I Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. What's the plan? So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. Because she's a veterinarian. To the rescue. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. There's a white one? Whatever you believe, <clears throat> there's got to be some science. And you do science. I know science. You don't know science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? What'd he give him? I'm the best at the steins. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't just turned into a werewolf. Oh. I hadn't seen that. Number 30. I believe him. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. <sighs> well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. <clears throat> Laura? Yeah. I saw what happened. 
what I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? I mean, it's not good. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris, I know there is They're really dragging this part out. Scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here. That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them. Chris, what's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Me. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky star uh. wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And are you those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Hmm. Interesting. Max! Uh, <clears throat> Max! Uh, what is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... What? Wait, is that what they said? Who would have guessed? <clears throat> David Arquette I mean, is the I white werewolf? Thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then cool. I like. I didn't expect that. That's cool. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. They have to kill. Jesus, Laura, they have to kill David Arquette. Oh, uh, you're saying it's not right? I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Number thirty. Help her! Laura needs help! Laura? Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell is going on? Laura? Oh, missed it. Oh. Get out. My stomach's fine. You picked the wrong night to fuck with me, kids. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Not so fun on that end, is it? Back the fuck up. Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. We need to go kill your brother. Fuck. Thanks for asking, 70s girl. Appreciate that. So now she's freeing a werewolf. It doesn't seem like that's a great Lord, idea. Please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. I don't apologize. No. Just want to make sure the gummies aren't messing you up too bad. No, go. I'm still good. We gotta go. <clears throat> we should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Someone. Someone Up, oh, number 31. It's coming from behind that door. The door was locked before, wasn't it? Probably though. He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. You're a werewolf. Not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry and we're ending this tonight. I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Where'd you get the eye patch? Best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit.
Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. <clears throat> Where'd that cop get that, that after rhyme saw thing you from? The pool after I shot Chris. I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... We got more, uh... <clears throat> oh, we got more of this? Up oh, thirty two. Max, Max, I dropped it. Five second rule. Max? Hello? I ain't good. Thank you. I just got to jump right on your boat, bro. Uh, or not, because of the water. I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kay Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Hide bite, show bite. He tried. I got away. Uh, uh. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Yeah, how long did it take for, um, what's his face, Nick, to turn into a werewolf? It didn't seem like it was very long. The fuck? Dumb fucking animal. Mm. 
Um, let's do nothing, actually. This bag hey, is starting to feel going? awfully light. Hey! Hey! Just a casual werewolf. <laughs> oh shit. Baby, I need some time alone. To be by myself. That thing looks hungry. where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, uh. here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path. I do not look forward to seeing her more. So I've lost, like, no characters. Nick is a, is a werewolf, but I've, I've, I've basically lost no characters. <clears throat> Chapter 8, The Belly of the Beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. You, Brian, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on, where does Chris Hackett live when he's not at camp, I mean? What makes you think I know that? 
Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. She doesn't have a lot of time. She'll I be a werewolf. She'll be a werewolf soon. These woods. <clears throat> Dude! What? But Ryan's in love with Chris. He doesn't want he doesn't want uh David Arquette to die. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. True. <clears throat> okay, any clothes are going to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. <laughs> yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. He's gay. Fine. 34. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> you saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. <clears throat> Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. She's definitely turning into one before this game's over. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? <clears throat> Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way. He knows all about yeah, David Arquette's camp, sex dungeon. Some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. Being able to eat so much spicy food, okay. you could probably handle OC spray no problem. I've been OC sprayed three times. Why are you like this? And it's very uncomfortable. Um, I should ask you the same thing. Have you ever what been OC sprayed, seventies girl? Really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is. You spray once. Not. Is too. It's not fun. It's not. Mm. Oh, that's right. You're a police officer. I forgot. Mm. There it is. Hack your house. See how creepy this is gonna be. Uh, it doesn't look that big. So he lives in some red. So the video, nice. The redneck family in the ass crack of the woods. Look at this place. No, <clears throat> it's where his mom lives. I think. Never been there, but if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Uh, barbed wire fence all around it. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. 
<coughs> Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. We gotta make, we gotta start moving before she turns. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh shit. Oh. Pretty sure that would fuck you up, but all right. Holy shit. Are you okay? The subterranean entrance into his house, that's all. Oh yeah, she's bad she's bad with the water. She's bad with water now. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Right. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. What? Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh, her eye might be back to normal. Oh my god! Her eye's back. Oh, that's fucking crazy. The guys you have, Grandma. That's crazy. Number 35. Shit. There's only two left. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Two left. Define yellow. Shit. We haven't got much time. That was pretty cool. Finish them. Last gummy, thirty six. Oh, boy, and we're done. 36 gummies. Oh, my stomach hurts now. <laughs> These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Gummy mission complete. Yep, 100 gummies down in three days. Oh. Oof. What is that? <clears throat> it's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. I'm guessing the hag is David Arquette's mom. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. <laughs> She's in great spirits for being infected by vamp or by werewolf germs. Careful, jeez. You're a dumbass in a tunnel running to the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> Let's go get her. Oh. 
I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Uh oh, she's getting hungry. Weird. She's getting hungry. Just like Nick did. Getting hungry. <clears throat> And then she'll start being a jerk, and then she's gonna try to kill everybody, which is just gonna be Ryan. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Do you think actually something is in here with us? I think so. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. A long way down. Well, where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. A lot of cool dialogue in this game. Yeah, I like I like the acting, I like the dialogue, I like the script. Some really cool moments. So what's your deal? There's just not a lot of gameplay. But it's it's the whole mysterious brooding very polished. thing. It doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single. Yeah. Why? No reason. <laughs> this way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't fuck that up. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. We got a tarot card, so maybe there'll be less complaining. That stupid old lady. Promising. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. <coughs> huh. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are down, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. Better hurry up before Laura gets real hungry. I think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Oh, back to Caitlin. Okay. Uh, that's 
kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. Uh. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. All right. Wait. What? The dude just chilling with one hand. Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? Uh, Emma, hiding in there. Jacob. It's not Jacob. Uh -huh. Are they? Should I open it up? Why would a werewolf be in there? Hog? Oh shit! It is Emma. Oh, she makes me! She makes me! Hey, oh. hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit! It hurts! Oh my god! Oh. I. Wait! I'm Wait. so sorry! Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I could find in the van. <laughs> oh, Emma. That was kind of, that was kind of funny. A 70s girl like that. That's funny. Uh, Dylan, <laughs> you're, uh... So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay, so the engine's completely screwed. More great news. I mean, if I could summon a working car out of thin air, I would. Wait, maybe I can. Okay, she's gone nuts. There's a scrapyard up the road. If we're looking for a vehicle, maybe there's one there? Not a terrible Sounds idea. Sounds like a long shot. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan uh. puts himself in mortal <laughs> danger for the sake of his work friends. Uh. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. Path chosen. Dylan and Caitlin. Abby and Emma. Laura and Ryan. was that oh it's nothing we got we got guests downstairs we don't want any more blood on our hands oh so all the hackets live in this house keep it down you keep it down Shh. this way Emperor. It's 
Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Bobby? Who's Bobby? Uh. Let's go get Jacob. What's up, buddy? Terrified. Wait, Ryan, don't. Uh oh. Jeez, man, what are you doing to him down there? Well, that's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Chris told them to go out there and keep uh, them safe. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? He didn't do it. Laura did it. <clears throat> Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? I'm gonna stop her. Who is it? Is it Nick? Laura. What have you done? I don't think I should have killed that one. I don't think I should let Lord kill that one. Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. When I say yes, you say no. Okay. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Oh, 
Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Emperor. The Emperor. <clears throat> Authority, paternity, stricter, designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Details. See more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Huh. Wasn't very helpful. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Okay. Chapter 9, The Matriarch. The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. <laughs> so basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Good point. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she shivers his timbers. Fuck. Oh, is that is that getting is that getting them on the hacket property? No, it's a scrapyard. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh god. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. I dig the music in this game a lot. Really cool, really, really cool music. For sure. So what do we do now? Well... I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> no? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your 
whatever is happening right now. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Is that why you do the internet video thingy? Internet video thingy? Whatever it is you call it. You know, people think influencers do it just for the attention, and maybe you do at first, but after a while, it's like, what's the difference between 4,000 rando likes and 100,000 rando likes? But I make people laugh. <sighs> I act dumb and they laugh. Maybe that makes me dumb, or maybe I just like to make people laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. She's looking deep into this, isn't she? Looking deep into this. <sighs> Fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. yeah. I never realized how well, tall Emma is. She it. towers over Abby. Like, towers over her. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> I want to find out which werewolf uh, Lore killed. I think we're finding down. out now. Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch. Put your fucking head up. They let her keep her gun. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Oh, damn. Gotcha. That grandma's feisty. No pain for what you did to my Kaylee. Oh, shit! Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, uh, wake up. I don't think wake CPR up. is gonna do it. Darling. She had her fucking face blown off. They're not going to like that too much. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cuba. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh, shit. You stabbed him? No, he just stabbed him. Holy shit. That's crazy. Didn't expect that. Tickle fight. Yeah, this game's crazy. I mean, it's not much of a game, but this shit was crazy. Uh, I guess. Uh, no, we don't pull it. Fucking just stab this dude. Laura's good though. She can take damage like that. She's a, she's a werewolf. She won't die. But Ryan's not a werewolf. He's fucked up now. Haley Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Why can't I ever read these? I want to read. I want to read what it says. 
I can't read it. <clears throat> it's really lame. Um, we gotta get out. No, you fucking don't. This reminds me of the Choose Your Own Adventure books. I used to read when I was a kid. You get to pick what happens next. They had a printing press when you were a kid, 70s girl. <clears throat> I used to read um a lot of those Goosebumps books. And some and they they had like a separate like sub series of choose your own adventure goosebumps. I used to read those. If you picked the wrong path, you would die. <laughs> yeah, I want to read what that letter said, but it doesn't let you. Goosebumps is after my time. Well, yeah, of course. <clears throat> when you were a kid, they used, didn't they used to handwrite all the books? A uh, seventies girl. <laughs> Hell yeah, Epion! I still have like, I still have like the first all the way to like book number like fifty something uh, in my attic. And every Halloween, I try to get my older daughter to, like, read one of them with me, and she's never about it. In a couple of years, she'll be too old to even be interested in it. Oh, what is that? Ugh. Yeah. What was that? Vomit? I think it was vomit. I know what Goosebumps is. I just never read them. Because yeah, you were, like, 32 when, the, when they came out with that series. <clears throat> They had the printing press in those days. Ben Franklin had just sold the rights. Yeah, let's hide. I don't think the, I don't think that guy knows that we're in here. <coughs> um, cabinet's probably fine. This is John Cena. Why is he locked indoors? Is he about to crank it in here? Oh, we even had to we even had to hold this down in a while. He looked, he just looked under the bed. Glad this, I'm glad we didn't hide there. I'm close. Stand by. Over. The best combat ever. You're a fucker. I understand why Laura like dropped her gun after she blew that lady's head off. Should kept the gun. Should have kept the gun. She fucked that lady up. I can hear you breathing, little girl. Oh, 
How did he not see her? Uh, let's not play the piano. No. That's an awful idea. There are bears around here. Suppose the hack is hunting prowess. You'd think they want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep something. Can I can I please read something in this game? When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. He's gotta come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. Oh, so maybe it's not, um Yeah, so it's not Chris. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. Yeah, so... So David Arquette's not the white wolf. It's someone else. So killing Chris won't do anything. Hackett family tree. Can't see it. It clearly is the hag of Hackett's Quarry. Well, the hag definitely isn't the grandma because she's dead as fuck. I can't read. I can't read this. Why is it so dark? I can't read it. All right, whatever. So most of the super massive games, I feel like they like want to force you to read stuff. In this game, I want to read stuff and I can't. It's like kind of annoying. <clears throat> the sun Playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Oh. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. <sighs> oh, she might be getting super strength now. Yeah, she's probably getting super strength. But she's been she's been bit for a while now. Yeah, she's too strong. She's strong now. And plus she just got shot and she's fu Yeah, look at that. Yeah. What's hurting her? Attack him. 
Fuck him up. I think this guy realizes he fucked up. Oh fuck, she killed him. Yo, she fucking snapped his neck. I didn't want her to do that. Fucking snapped his neck. <clears throat> What's her, what, what is that light hurting her for? Oh, and Jacob's safe because she killed the werewolf down there. They never showed who that werewolf was down there, did they? Then you're wrong, he's good and dead. Yeah, she fucked that dude up, fucking snapped his neck. He thought he had her, but he actually played himself. That was kind of that was a kind of a cool scene. Where what werewolf was down here? Hey! Well, he can't see. Or can he see her? Yeah, I guess he can. He's lucky she ran by him because she could probably easily kill that dude too. This isn't gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. Honestly, all the people in this house are in danger from Laura now. She's the she's the one to be afraid of. She already killed two of them. No, three she killed three people in this house already. Cause she killed a werewolf too. <laughs> Uh, Ryan's not doing too good. John Cena thinks he's like fucking hunting Ryan, but if he runs into Laura, he's fucked. She's killed two of the three on the list. What list? Oh, it was Chris? No. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow! You stabbed me. Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <sighs> Leave me alone. <sighs> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! <laughs> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! Dad's dead. Uh, he might bleed out now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's me. Oh, fuck. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Yo, Laura's scary right now. Chris, Caleb, and the other name can keep hinting after camp. Hunting. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't know who Caleb was for the other person. Bad, huh? 
I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come. Caleb was dad. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have let you come. Well, he's not turning into a vampire or uh, a werewolf. He got his fucking me. neck snapped. Grandma got her head blown off. It's okay. Lore's a savage. Yo, when she dropped, when she jumped down from whatever window, that was fucking scary. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. If she bites him. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But Caleb was dad, unless I'm an idiot. I can't keep the name straight. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't remember them ever saying his, the dad's name. Ryan, I don't have. Wasn't there a grandson too? It's the grandson's name. It like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then then I have to kill Chris. It's it's not killing Chris. It's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. But Chris and isn't mine, the white wolf. She read the friends. note that said that Chris isn't the white werewolf. It's not Chris. It's someone else. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Here's the thing. Pretty much. If she starts biting Ryan, I think she's going to lose her control. It's your call. I think she's going to tear him apart. I think she's going to lose I think she's going to lose control completely. So I'm gonna say no. So we doing this or no? I'm gonna say no. Klein, cause she, cause she gonna lose, she gonna lose her, she gonna lose herself. She I bites him, she's losing it. I she barely I held control as it was. Stay human. But you'll die. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut <sighs> up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. You're a fucking asshole. Fuck. We gotta go. I think I made the right call. I think she turned into a werewolf already if I let her bite him. Scrapyard. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. This isn't bad terrain at all. Hmm. I finished my tea. Oh, I didn't.
Visibility is awesome. <clears throat> At least I could see now. When I didn't adjust the brightness, I, I couldn't see shit. Like, walking around and stuff, I couldn't see anything. <clears throat> There's the better cars back there, maybe. <clears throat> How are we gonna end up in a documentary? No, shut up, Come on, let's go. Let me see what's up here first. Full moon circled. These it, sons of bitches had it all planned out. They they know that everyone knows. Keep this. Who's T? Mm -hmm. The cop. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. How many chapters are there total for this game? I'm assuming 10. Until Dawn had 10. So I think I think there's one I think there's one more when this after this one's over. Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. I would like to beat this game tonight. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? You both are bad. And if we finish this game tonight, tomorrow we'll play Diablo 4. I think we're pretty far in that game. We might be able to beat that game tomorrow. Depend I'm not sure how much is left. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah. Awesome, 70s girl. That's a pretty fun uh, online game with uh, multiplayer. I was here already, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. Thank you. Like I said, I think I'm. I think I'm like at the end of the game, though. I think. I played it when it came out. I got it like right when it came out, and I played it for a while, and then I stopped playing it. I played it like last week once, for a few hours. <clears throat> I think you were watching when I was playing it, and um. I, th I think I'm really far in the game. Yeah. It's a pretty cool game. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Always watching.
Where am I supposed to go? <clears throat> have I been up there? Uh, looks like I looks like I have been. Oh, something over here. Discarded signage. What's this? Aram scare. Seeing this, Caitlin? Even when I'm at work and I'm not supposed to be, I put my earbuds in and hide my phone and listen to it at least. Uh, I, that's awesome. Yeah, you're the, you're the number one uh, fan, 70s girl, for sure. I really feel like I'm aimlessly walking around here. I'm looking for a car with a good oh the good engine, right? That's what I'm looking for. Well, there's just nothing. Everything looks the same in here, too. And we walk so slow. Uh. Silly teen not knowing car parts. Oh, we got another tarot. Judgment. Oh, there's a car on that crane. Maybe I need that. Maybe I need to get that. I don't know. Where'd that even go? I don't know where that car went. I don't have my bearings at all. I kind of don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm looking, well, I know I'm looking for a car that runs, but like, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Look. I guess we found it. So. You ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, <laughs> I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Lower Max's car? They had mentioned, um, they actually met, they actually mentioned before that, uh, the, the sheriff took their car to the scrapyard. That was mentioned before. <coughs> Hence note from cop. Sure. Yeah, yeah it makes sure sense. Thing. Um, <coughs> just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. I think it's cool the way they did that. That's cool. Yes, this is chapter nine. We still haven't even found who's the white werewolf, though. All right. So, or like where the white werewolf like is. Mom. For your information, this is the most important them. chapter of the grabber. Of the game. The most important what? How? Let's see what Are you alone with a woman calling yourself the grabber? You might be near the hag of Hackett's quarry. <laughs> yes. Why is this the most important chapter? Well, okay. I think a werewolf's gonna be coming. All right. Here goes nothing. You try to fucking drop it on on Caitlyn.
Because the guide said so? Okay. You did it. Could you get like a game over here or something? Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time. <laughs> I've actually never got a game over in a, in a super massive games title. I've never gotten a game over yet. So I've had characters die a lot of times, but I've never actually like lost. Oh, the, the motion sensor. Something's there. Oh, that's so cool. Warren Caitlin. That's so cool. Oh, she doesn't hear him. She doesn't hear him. That's cool. Drop it. Drop the car. Oh. Yo, the way they did that... The way they did that with the motion sensors was awesome. Uh, if we slam car, that might kill her. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Get him, Dylan. Dylan, help! Dylan, come on, help me! Dylan! You rusty bitch. Damn. Fuck the car up, though. AOL dial up noises. The bane of the werewolf. That was really cool. It was worth that annoying walking around part to see the motion sensors going off, showing that a werewolf was there. That was pretty cool. Oh, I dig it. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. That werewolf's still alive, so whoever person's trapped under that car, it's pretty so, shitty. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, <clears throat> back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Well, that was the important thing we had to do. We protected Caitlin and Dylan. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Yeah. Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Why is Emma cool with shots like that? The hag of, Hatt of Hackett's Quarry, right there. She's right there. <gasps> hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. It's She's not. here. Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? Nice. The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. <clears throat> it's important to make sure that Laura and Travis will be able to team up together in chapter 10. So make sure you make it all right, all the right choices in this chapter. Travis? Who the fuck is Travis? Travis? Is Travis the cop? Because I don't think Travis is going to want to hook, is going to want to team up with, uh, I don't think Travis is going to want to team up with Laura since Laura killed his mom and dad. And then, you know, Ryan stabbed his brother or whoever that guy was. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think we made the right choices. Seventies girl. <clears throat> Based on what you said, we're making all the wrong choices. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get the White Wolf Trophy in Chapter 10. I don't think I am. If I need to team up with Travis, I think it's probably too late. Oh, it's a ladder. What'd you find? Um. Oh, I'm just. Tonight's the first night. Ladder. I is looked a, at a guide because I wanted to see who the white there? wolf is. Uh, yeah. Well, open it up. I'm kind of curious too. Hopefully, I, I at least figure it out. We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay. What I mean is, it might. Be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge. There, there also could be a, a, a way for us to defend ourselves. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Guess that makes sense. Good. Don't. I think it's. I think I already screwed up. Probably, based on what you said. <coughs> <coughs> Back to Laura. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. It's not too late. I can still bite you. 
Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm good, actually. Hungry. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. <laughs> no. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. Laura's gonna want to eat him eventually anyway. And stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Oh, it's freaking scary. That's cool. They did this really well. When people are like bit, they did that. They did it really cool. <clears throat> Watch your step. Yep. You smell beef? What was that? The beef's... Oh, shit. Think... The beef's name is Ryan. I think we found Chris Hackett. Oh, that's Chris. That's uh, David Arquette. But he's not the white wolf. He's not white. Uh-oh. 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 That's bad. What's the point? What's the point of those chains? They didn't do anything. Fucking dead, or or a werewolf. Hey. No, I don't want to shoot her. Oh, Ryan died for that. Ryan died. There's beef. So, the brother died. Ryan died. Welcome back. And the sheriff back. died. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, and Especially Laura died. Now that more vermin have been stamped out. A few stragglers remain, but there's still time. That guy came over. So, then, what more has been found? Shall we take a look? I guess not. So, would you guys say I didn't play that right? <laughs> the sun, the vitality of a new day. Laura, Ryan, to wake up Sheriff, the and so brother bad. all that all died in that scene Which in like two seconds. Actions, all of them died. So life hangs in the balance. It's up to Whoops. you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. It was two seconds. They all all those characters died. So I guess now I'm not going to find out who the white wolf is, I guess. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from That's actually kind of cool that this game requires you case, to like make certain decisions and pick certain paths perhaps to um a snap decision to, make to get like the real ending and stuff. That's pretty cool. Day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance one way or the other. Everybody's dead, Dave. <clears throat> And maybe survive. The high 
Hierophant. Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? Six years ago, Eliza? No. Oh, what is this? <coughs> what have they done? What have they done? Oh, fuck. Hear him, scare him. Silas the dog boy? They burned him? The hag of Hackett's Quarry. Is she the hag? Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 Oh, shit. Tower. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what they did to us? How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver. Trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they so is her her son the werewolf little Silas, my little white wolf he must be protected Silas is the white wolf follow this path. wasn't he just burned and dead Remember how I've helped you all this time. And why would he be a werewolf anyway? Why is he a werewolf anyway? Remember how much I've done for you. I don't know. I hope they explain it a little more. Bricks and mortar, chapter ten. You saw a badge on the corpse? Yeah. The table. I did. Okay. Oh, so that wasn't Silas. 
That was the sheriff of the town at the time. That wasn't Silas. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Mm. It gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, <coughs> got another vantage point. I could see playing this game again, like next year or the year after. I could see playing this game again, try to get the good ending. Depending on depending on how it ends this time. But at the same time, when I play the Dark Pictures games or the super massive uh, games, I do like that one playthrough to just speak for the game. Like the one path I took, that's what happens in the game, and that's it. So I don't know. We'll we'll see how this ends. How satisfying it is. I know until dawn, I was really disappointed. That Mike and Sam died at the end. Same thing. Yeah, you've said that before, Epion. And I, I feel and I agree with you. But I could see why I do multiple playthroughs in this game. I could see it. So I don't know. I don't know. Because you have a hard on for Mike. I mean, I am in love with Mike. He is all that is man. I will never stop being angry. I got Sam killed at the end because of a glitch. Yeah, I got Sam killed too. What am I trying to do? Like, what am I looking for right now? Find a vantage point. Okay. Well, didn't I try to climb the stairs and it wouldn't let me? <coughs> Windows. There we go. What's not okay? Better. That might matter later. Did I close that window? That might have that might have mattered. Yo, where am I supposed to go?
Where do we go? I can't go up the stairs, right? Or can I? I can. All right, here we go. How long has this guy been here? Septimus Hackett. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Let's prepare for an attack. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. So Chris Hackett is on the loose now. So is Nick. And probably others too. Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh, Max is another werewolf. So there's at least three werewolves out there. Max, Nick, and Chris Hackett at a minute. And the white werewolf. So there's at least four werewolves out there at a minimum. Absolute minimum four werewolves. <sighs> Fuck this whole night. <clears throat> Why is Jacob still wet? I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> oh, there's one of them. Jacob doesn't even have clothes, let alone a weapon, so. I like that. Yeah. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking idiot, he says. Jacob got it. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No. We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? That's bad. <sighs> Let's wait. We got our vantage point. Take a shot. Okay, 
That didn't really do anything. She has silver bullets, doesn't she? I guess I shot it like in the shoulder, kind of. That's a strong door. It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can oh, do. Yeah, but what? Here it comes. The toddler chair will stop him. Didn't even slow him down. Oh, Caitlyn might not have silver shells. She might not have silver shells. That's why it didn't really do anything to it. If she passes. Um. Beam. Uh, it's not gonna go well for her. Oh, now we gotta run. The shells, they got the silver shells, bro. Well, she doesn't know that. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's gonna go well for Dylan. Investigate. I think, it kill, I think I killed it. That was a hard shot, but it worked. Who was it? Nick? Max? I don't think it's uh, Chris, because I don't think he enough time to get here. Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. Who was it? Are they supposed to turn back? Oh. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. It didn't turn back. Now it's daytime, so I guess I guess we won't I guess we won't um, find the, the white wolf. Is broken. Whatever the cost, whatever darkness from the night still remains, the future at least is now a little brighter. What happened to this family? They brought upon themselves, and you shouldn't pity them. I knew I could rely on you. I knew that if orchestrated properly the events of Hackett's quarry would unfold just the way I wanted them to. And now, well, I suppose, I suppose it's goodbye. 
Well, I feel like that was a shitty ending. How you helped me? Yeah, I feel like that was a shitty ending. That wasn't satisfying at all. And chapter 10 was super quick, super short, because all those characters died in chapter 9. So that I just didn't have scenes with them because they're all dead. Yeah. You'll have to play it again next year. I might play this game again. It was good. It's good. It's like, so its weakness is the gameplay. There was like no, oh, Max infected. As Chris Hackett was left alive, Max remains infected with the werewolf curse. I don't think Chris Hackett is anything. Ryan, deceased. Ryan was killed by werewolf Chris, the camp leader he once looked up to. Laura Kearney, deceased. Laura and Travis reached a bloody end at each other's hands. <clears throat> Travis Hackett, deceased. Laura and Travis... Yeah. His head ripped off. Bobby Hackett, deceased. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Constance Hackett, deceased. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Jebediah Hackett, deceased. Jebediah was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. Nick, deceased. Oh, Nick died in here. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Kaylee Hackett, deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Jacob, alive. Chris Hackett, still infected. Dodging the trap. Oh, look at that. Jacob avoided becoming a hanging snack for Werewolf Chris, and the curse wasn't broken. Chris must face it again in the next full moon. That's cool. Abigail, alive. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. <clears throat> Emma, alive. I must survive the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan, alive. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from C Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin, alive. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Caleb, Hackett, deceased. Cal Caitlin shot Caleb dead using the silver shells passed to her by Emma and Abigail. So I think, I think he was the old lady's grandson, Caleb. Yeah, I would, I would play this again. I think just to to try to get to try to get the good ant, the white wolf alive. As the sun rises, the white wolf slinks back into the safety of the woods, waiting for the full moon to come again. Yep. We never we never even saw the white wolf. <laughs> it was like the, probably like the technically the real boss of the game. This choose your own adventure game. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. A herd of bears. Term, several. Like the detectives are just they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two. That brutal three. end. Yeah, you know so several, many people died murders. in that one you scene. Know, might be a fucking though, four or five characters died in like it probably wasn't two minutes. It was probably like a minute. Difficult like four or five characters died. From, especially when you go in saying, Hi, I'm a paranormal. Expert. I think it all started to go wrong. I had Laura shoot the one character. I, I didn't stop Laura from shooting the one character. And then I had Laura attack Jebediah. I think those two decisions like kind of ruined it for me. And then things just spiraled downhill from there. The podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life. So, yeah, this game had some cool exactly highlights though. That real scene was brutal, but it was really cool. I really like the scene where Nick transformed. I thought that was really cool. I really like the scene where Laura um was using her superpowers. I thought that like I thought that was really cool. Um when Laura shot Constance's face off, that was really cool. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? There's some really cool scenes in this game. I really like the um truth or dare scene. That was really cool. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to This game had some You like this game? Cool. Yeah, this game had some really good voice acting. Um, the and graphics are really good. A lot of the character, like facial expressions and stuff, were really good. The story was good. I felt like I was in a werewolf movie. I felt like I was watching like American Werewolf in London or something. Like, 
head braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. There are a lot of good things about this game, but the game the, the game is weak with the 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 um the gameplay. There was there was like none. There was no there was like one puzzle, and once I figured it out, she uh, it was that password on the computer. I went inter interact with the computer, and she just automatically did the password without me having even having to put it in, which was kind of like lame. What? You know someone on the inside. Um, Don't we all have someone on the inside? Like I said, Sam close to until stuff. dawn, but it's not as good. No, it's not as good as until dawn. You should listen to that voice. And I would argue okay, well, that the really the exploration is, parts in um donation. the devil and me were better you know, we're than this. But overall, this is a lot better than that game because the story was so good, the characters were so good, the acting was so good. You know, I was so interested in what was going on, especially I'd say from like chapter like five or six on. I was very interested in what was happening. Anonymous donation. Okay. You know, You've always like I stopped talking as much. I was talking so much for the first few chapters because, like, I kind of like I kind of didn't care that much about what was going on. But then, like, the game, there was a point where the game like captivated me, and I was like into it. And I, I started just talking way less. You know, because I wanted to, I wanted to hear what the characters were saying, and like try to like really listen to what's going on. Let's do this. For anyone Until Dawn definitely got me earlier and, and got me more involved quicker. But like the werewolf thing, I think was cooler than the Wendigo thing. The werewolf thing was real. That's it's really cool. Like I don't even know if I've ever played a werewolf game before, but this was definitely the best werewolf game I've ever played. I mean, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. Just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock Yeah, door. very, very cool story. Is this game in my top 10 hiding? for the you year? It's not. Doors? Until no, Dawn is number 10 hide. on my you list. So th this game is not in my top 10. No, but it is good. It, it's my walls, it's okay. really solid Halloween game, murderers. horror game, really solid. So, remember those missing hikers? Um, uh, do I like this game more than House of Ashes? I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras. Photos that show them. I don't know. It's quarry. Maybe. Where the camera was found. Maybe I don't know. They're I close. House of Ashes and this game are close. They dropped their camera. Okay, Anton. Let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh, in uneven uh row of cobblestone. I don't know if you're aware of this. Um, Epion. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure. If you phone, at this you point. Go missing. Where are they now? I think I've beaten every no, super massive game the in this like style because we beat be Quarry anywhere. until dawn, Devil no. and Me, House of Ashes, I'm Little Hope, little Man of Madon. My sources. I think there's another one. Me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then okay. Well, then I don't know. shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the would be all of prime suspects? Exactly. Why we need the directive one that's Maybe coming? Would be if anyone knew where they were. The Is directive one? You talking about the space one? I saw I saw a thing for a space one. Yeah, that's they're coming out with. Part a bit, in my opinion. So the space one. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna get that and stream it 100. Right, percent so These guys are like the heritage. Definitely. These aren't my like these aren't like my favorite games. Like when you look at how I when I rank them, I never rank them like that high really. But like, I, I like I like the idea of them. I don't know. Yes, they did. I like I like playing these. flag on it just like the. I like horror, and this is definitely like the ch that cheesy kind of horror. Dude, the were this werewolf like like the. Apparently, when they claimed just like the. The ambiance and the environment and like the setting and like, like it just it felt like I was in a it felt like I was in a werewolf movie. It was I don't know it, that scene when Nick transformed that was wonderful. They did that so good. But I digress. When they were at the scrapyard, bro, I was so bored in the scrapyard. Yeah, I was so I was so bored in the scrapyard. I was like, oh my god, how do I get out of here? And then when we finally got in that stupid forklift, and then the 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 um the motion lights were going on, I was like, yo, yo, and, and why is that? Like at the same time, I had that reaction. Dylan was like, oh, like the same reaction, like oh fuck, like that was so cool. I don't know, I like that. They did a really good job with that. 
okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into. And it was cool, like something like real small. Okay. When towards Here the end, like right before Laura died, basically, before she fell through the floor Did with uh, Chris so? Hackett, she's like, she looks so sick. Her eyes are all like sunken in and shit. And she's like, and and uh, Ryan's like, yo, what are you doing? And she's like, do you smell that? Like, it was such a small thing, like subtle thing, but it was like, like at that moment, like you could feel the terror that Ryan. The podcast of the paranormal. In that moment, you could feel the terror that Ryan must have been. I mean, he was dying anyway from his wound. But like, like, the, the, you feel like he's like terrified. Like, yo, this bitch is about to eat me. All like, right. Um, <clears throat> I think actually what she was smelling was Chris Hackett, though. But. That Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay, so I think I think I was trying to call up with Amy, like what scenes because I think there's a couple scenes out. worth it. I was trying to call up with scenes I was going to put on TikTok. I think I'm going to upload forest, like I want to do like really really short clips. Camp, I think there's uh, I can only think of two or three I want to do. I want to do Nick's transformation. I thought that that clip I thought that part of the game was just it was so much tension. It was so cool. And then when um Constance got her head shot off. That was like just so so shocking. Like right now, I want to make definitely make like TikToks of those, and maybe I'll do one hole. for um I when those like five characters died in that I one do, scene. I maybe. Dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never <clears> happened. <throat> Love K X O X O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted? scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen yeah no i'm fully creeped out she was clearly going through some stuff and this is legit everybody died and you went silent because <laughs> i know i i realized so, at that moment in time that i fucked up <laughs> i was just like yeah there was something fuck going on, something eating well we're there. not we're not fighting the white wolf to explore okay well, consider my disbelief. <laughs> 70s girl said that chapter 9 was really important so, I don't think and that the choices I make will matter a lot. But oh, I didn't God, expect why? for one scene shit, this is a scene to just wipe out like and almost like half of the character cast of the game. Tell me about this. Well, you know? It was never actually said. That's insane. What? Brutally Signed wiped them out. Hey, we're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Fucked up that these guys know who we are. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Chapter 7 was important too, <clears throat> but I didn't know that when you were in Chapter 7. Just... Did I fuck anything up in Chapter 7? I don't really remember making bad choices, but... I didn't really lose. <clears throat> I didn't really lose any characters until like chapter nine, chapter ten. And I didn't. I didn't really lose any characters. Chapter seven and nine are the two most important chapters. I know that that one uh, viewer that was in here briefly, the one in, from the UK, Queen of something, she said that she never saw Emma alive when she reunited with with uh, Jacob after she was running running away from the first werewolf she met. She's like. Like, I've never seen Emma alive here. See the real deal, huh? So, Come on, man. Uh, Laura and Travis need to get along. Well, the whole okay. time that Laura you know interacted what? with Travis, I was making them butt heads. Oh my God. I just said it was weird. I'll bet Don't money. Deal out of it. Oh my God, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. Your first pick lock up. converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I was won. a syringe? I won. You did not. <clears throat> How so? Contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean. I How do you mean? See it. The lack of details in the news report. You mean I should have had Laura stay know, with means, um Max? The idea that something strange went down. If I had done that, he doesn't trust her. Oh, because she saw her. He saw her abandon Max. So he's like, yo, she, you can't trust this bitch. 
I'm not giving oh, you Oh, that, that's what you meant. That's what you meant. Oh. Because I found that hole in the wall, and, like, there's nothing in it. And I was like, ah, whatever. Right? I found the syringe, and I was like, oh, I have a syringe now. Cool. And I didn't think anything of it. Right? This is the best day of my life. And, and then sad. she kept talking oh, about how she was tired. No. So I'm like, oh, I gotta make sure she goes to sleep. Like, I gotta get her to bed. To the so I, like, rushed her into the cell. I just wish we could and clearly I could have interacted with the just... with the hole in the wall. But I just didn't think about it. And I, I slept. And I woke up. And as soon as he went to pat her down, immediately when he's, like, motions to pat her down, I was like, fuck. I was like, no. I fucked that. I'm like, I fucked that up. He's gonna find the syringe and take it. Fuck. I knew it like right away. I was like, what a mistake that was. Precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Yeah, I would say this game more so than any of the other games in the series. The other games had choose your own adventure stuff, but a lot of times I felt like a lot of times your choices didn't matter that much. And it was really the failing quick time events that would lead to characters dying. In this game, the choices really mattered a lot. So. Unidentified animals loose in North Kill Forest. Yo, these credits are long as fuck. So one thing I'm going to do before I end the stream is I just want to take a look at um, in the main menu. There's options to look at podcast episodes. I just I want to see what's in there and then see if there's anything I might want to listen to. Probably not, but I, I just want to take a look. <clears throat> I feel like we beat this game pretty quick because I read this game was like nine, nine and a half hours. I don't think we played this game that long. We played it for like maybe two, two and a half hours yesterday, maybe hour and a half, two hours a day before. And then today, I think we started playing at eight. So we played it. We played it for about four hours and forty minutes so far. Actually, yes, yeah, so that math actually works out for like nine hours. Never mind. Ignore me. It's about about nine hours. Yep. It didn't feel like I played it that long though. I feel like I just started playing this, which is a good. That's a good thing. And I was also really tired. I'm not tired today. Yesterday and the day before, I was really, really tired playing. Like, I was exhausted trying to play. So, you know, and I still had, I still, like, was having fun, kind of. Today, I'm not tired, and I, I was really enjoying it. I really, was really into the story and stuff. But like I said, so Diablo 4 tomorrow. And then, I don't think there's that much left of that game. When we beat that, we're going to do Overcooked. I'm probably going to start just start overcooked from the beginning. Um, and then I pre-ordered Dragon Quest Monsters of the Dark Prince. It's supposed to come Friday. So I'm going to be jumping on that game. And that game will probably take me to the end of the year because I think it's going to be a long game. And that'll probably be it for, for our 2023 all, all our games. Epion, um, 70s Girls. Are there any games that you guys want to see me stream? That, like, I haven't mentioned? I know, um, Klonoa had mentioned that he wants me to stream a game called One Shot, which I pre-ordered, but there's not even, like, it's not coming anytime soon. Was there anything that you guys would be interested? I, I think he also mentioned me doing Kingdom Hearts, which maybe I'll do that ne uh, next year, maybe. I'll let you know if something comes to mind, okay? And I'll have to think about that, okay? I know uh, Sammy's girl said she's into the Spyro games. And I've actually never played a Spyro game, so I would consider... I don't have the Reignited Trilogy that just came out, but I actually have the original games. I've just never played them. So that's something maybe I can, I can consider doing like a Spyro game or two in the next year. 
they seem good. They seem like they'd be up my alley. I just, I've just never tried one. I'm so stuck on some parts. Yeah, but I mean, platformer, platform games, you just gotta, you can't glide. From, from what I've, what I've heard about Spyro games is that the gliding takes getting used to, and especially in the first one, I think it's a little bit like stiff, the gliding. So you just gotta like get used to it and just know it doesn't control super well from what I understand. I think in later games, they kind of fix that. Coming up um, in the next year, I do want to knock out, I mentioned it before, I want to finish the Breath of Fire series. Last year, I streamed Breath of Fire 1, 2, and 3. So I want to f I want to do 4 and 5 this year. Uh, yeah, I keep trying. I just can't get it. I have 100% on some levels, though. But if you keep trying, I'm sure I'm sure you'll get it. If you just keep, keep trying, eventually, you know, especially with the older games, you just keep over and over and over and over again, get a little better every time, and eventually you'll break through and you'll and you'll get it. Like with the hundred jumps on on Mario, I spent hours trying over and over and over and over again, and just you're bound to eventually get it. Exactly, your hundred jumps. Yep. You're, uh, there was like such a long time where I, it was a struggle for me to get twenty jumps. It was like such a struggle, and then there was a point where I hit like ninety seven. And then like hours, like an hour later, I hit 92 or something. And like, you know, another half hour after that, I hit my 100. So. But yeah, I wanted to get into, I mean, they've been releasing a lot of those Trails in the Sky games. Like, like in the last year or two, they released like a bunch of them that were only ever released in Japan before. And they translated and released them. And I've always like heard about the series and wanted to give it a try. So, and so I think there's a lot of games and they're long. So I wanted to like at least start that series this year, at least knock out a couple of those. Um, the Dragon Quest games, I heard Dragon Quest 11 is one of the best RPG games ever made, but I, I want I want to beat the other games first. So I've already beaten uh, one through six. So I've got to do seven, eight, nine, ten 10 is an online only J uh, Japanese game. So I'm not going to do that one, but then 11. So I want to do those. Yeah, there you go. Trails in the Sky, uh, Trails in Cold Steel. That those are those. There's a, I think there's four of those, and then there's uh, Trails in the Sky, uh, one, two, three. Then there's Trails from Zero. There's Trails into Reverie. There's another one, and now they're coming out with like a whole new series with Trails to B Daybreak or something is coming out like soon. Azor, yep, Azor, yep. And then there's like also like an older se series I had that I have. It's like um, Tears of Vermilion, um, Song of the Ocean, and uh, no, Sword of Vermilion, not Tears. Sword of Vermilion, Song of the Ocean, and a third one. I can't remember. And then there's even then there's another series too, like an older series. Like there's so many games. Like I want I want to beat some of those. Yeah, the Tail series, I've never played a single game in the Tail series. Never a single one. And I have like I've I've gotta have like close to ten of those games. I've never even played one. Monster Hunter series, same thing. I got like a shitload of those. I've never played one. Um Wild Arms, I've never played any of those. Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga. I have those expensive ass games. I've never Xeno uh uh Xenoblade Chronicles. I have those games, I've never played any of them. The Zillia duology is amazing. I thought the Zillia 2 is supposed to be not that good. But I, again, I've never, I've never played either. Um, Persona, I've only ever played Persona 3 and I didn't finish it. And I've heard Persona 5 is one of the best games ever made. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Suikoden, I've never played a single Suikoden. What is this? You've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a player character's death and try again to save them. Oh, so that's like, that's for like um, the quick time events. I don't think I lost any characters to quick time events. All the characters that died for me were from uh, my choices. So like I said, Suikoden, I've never done um, 
any games in the uh, oh, what was I gonna say another series I said wild arms just sweep it in um I never did the Vandal Hearts games I never did a bunch of the Final Fantasies I've never done I've never done what's that series called the one that starts with Kodol Kodol Kodelka I never did that series Legend of Dragoon I've never played I've never played Chrono Cross I've never played any of the Star Ocean games yeah Shadow Hearts I've never played any of those um and RPGs are my favorite that I'm just my backlog is just I know I'm sorry I was like a really I was a huge Shining fan so I played um like Shining Force 1, 2, 3 a bunch of times Shining Holy Ark a bunch of times I beat Shining the Darkness once um but then all the games that got released after that I didn't really play any of those either like Shining Soul and shit like that I never played any of those <laughs> there's other ones too um whether or, oh Grandia I've only played Grandia 2 I've never played Grandia 1 Grandia 3 or Grandia Extreme I've only I think I beat Grandia 2 twice um I like it I like it a lot it's really good what else well I told you when, when you watched me play Parasite Eve I did play Parasite Eve as a kid but I never finished it my friend rented it or maybe he bought it I don't know Grandia 3 is weird in that it's good but it's weirdly tropey I don't, I don't mind tropes tropes don't bother me Grandia 2 is a goddamn classic yeah like I said I, beat, I think I beat it twice so I, I liked it a lot um I never played Final Fantasy 3 5 I played like once I never like I never like really played 5 so I never played three. We're gonna say never played five. Never played. I played eight once. I didn't like really play it. I never played nine. I never. I, twelve. I think I played once. I never beat twelve. Thirteen. I played. I think once. I never beat it. Oh, Final Fantasy three isn't great. I've got the pixel remaster, so I was gonna try it on there. Um. Yeah, I never played fifteen. Never played fourteen. Obviously, never played sixteen. Crystal Chronicles, I played like once. I never beat it. 12 is great once you get enough gambits. I definitely didn't get far enough for that. Like, I, I, I didn't really play it. Yeah, well, as an RPG fan, there's really... There's, I really haven't... There's so many There's so many games I gotta play. I never played any of the .hack games. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but this year I intend I intend to make this the year of RPGs I want to at least get into some of those series as I mentioned I want to at least get into them you know what I mean alright I gotta end the stream soon but before I do let's check out this bizarre yet bona fide and let's see what's here a spooky forest, a traveling sideshow, and a big fire. Is this a joke? I don't know. Arthritis? No. What? Shut up. No. You get death, whispers in the woods, a lost baby boy, and revenge. I don't get it. Welcome These podcasts the may actually Yet fill in a lot of the uh, my questions for this, this series. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together we strive to prove... Or disprove the presence of supernatural forces in real life true crime cases. Spoiler alert, we never will. That's a lie, and you know it. I am yet to be convinced that we share this world with ghouls and goblins. And that's how it works, folks. I investigate the unknown with an open mind and a thirst for truth. And Anton is a fun sponge. Hey. You started it. So where are we with this? What's next? Let's get this over with. You could at least pretend to be interested. No, I am. I'm super interested. They're really drawing this out. I want the info. I want like to get the information. Okay. But this is like. This is the story of the Hag of Hackness Quarry. 
Ooh, scary. Did you come up with that? Deep in the wilderness of upstate New York lies a town with a population in the low hundreds. A quiet place that nobody really tends to visit, mainly because it's so remote and out of the way that nobody can find it on a map. A town called North Kill. Oh boy. No, I swear, that's its The right. Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry is a myth perpetuated by the locals of North Kill about the ghostly figure of a woman who haunts the surrounding woods and quarry, crying out <coughs> for her lost boy. Why? What happened to him? Well, here's the thing. Nobody knows. As far as records go, there was no boy. Convenient. Ugh, I'm trying to set the scene. Okay. So this place, these woods, this is where those two hikers went missing, right, a while back? Has that got anything to do with this whole ghost thing? Well, yes and no. Forget about the ghost in the woods for a minute. Done. Can I interest you in a blazing fire that burned the traveling show to the ground? Toasty. I like it. So this is where it all started, allegedly. Harem Scarum, a traveling sideshow that set up shop in Hackett Woods. Wait, hold up. Traveling sideshows, is that still a thing? Uh, yeah, apparently. And this was before the hikers went missing? They're still looking for them, right? Yeah, still missing, but get this. There are oh. rumors that those guys weren't hikers. I still haven't played uh, Sea of Stars, of Chained Echoes, Triangle Strategy. I haven't played any of those yet either, by the way. All those, like, new game, Elden Ring. I've actually never played a Souls game. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part. Yeah, we're, we're more like I'm, I'm pretty my backlog's pretty and all these games are so long So what happened again Dragon Warrior uh, 7 which I plan to play soon That's like a hundred plus hour game Some hay bales caught fire for just for the main quest like pretty quickly before they knew it the whole place Why do you hate me? Including the show's leading why I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this backlog Yes, honey. you know what I'm gonna do it we're, like I said, we're going to start with the Dragon Quest Monsters of the, the Dark Prince because it's, it's just coming out. We're going to start there. And we're going to we're gonna have an RPG year. And we're going to catch up. We're going to make up all this lost time for some of these games. She took a liking to this child. Adopted him as her own. My top 10 from last year was like half, or, half of it was RPG games. I think there was three. According to the posters. Three? So like a feral child, I guess? No, two, there was two Dragon Quest games in my top ten last year. Yeah. And it gets uh, four and six. He was thought lost in the fire, so she burned two whilst she searched for him in the wreckage. And was he lost in the fire? I also had uh, Breath of Fire 2 was in there. East Book 1 and 2 was in there. And Fire Emblem Three Houses was in there. That's fucking My top ten. Oh, but yeah, sucks about the whole people dying thing. That's cold. I'm sorry, but you're the one trying to make it about ghosts and shit. Right. Speaking of, this is where the reports come in. People claim to hear the sound of burning trees and the pained, yearning whispers of the woman as she still to this day searches for her boy. Stuck All right, I think it's enough. And the next. That's enough of that. Occurred to you. All right. So thanks for watching Endora Gaming, where we beat the games. We are done for now with the quarry. I think I might do, I might play this game again next year or maybe the year after. I, I, I could see going back to this game and trying to find the white wolf. I could see doing that. Oh, excuse me. But for now, that's going to be the end. Tomorrow night, Diablo 4. Maybe we can finish Diablo 4 tomorrow night. I'm not sure how much is left in the game, but... We're pretty far. Yep. Good night, guys. I'll see you.